DaVinci Resolve for noobs. As a huge Star Wars fan, I thought we'd try something a little different today and see if we could recreate the opening title crawl from Star Wars. Now you can see everything I used in this project right here in five different tracks. Let me break down how I did this. This first track here is a title track, and all I did was go into titles. I didn't use text plus, I actually used scroll that moves your titles up or down the screen. Now when it came to the text, everything has a certain square pattern. The sentences don't go too far past a certain point before they return. I also sent the alignment to center so that all the text would stay aligned to the middle. When it came to spots like this last one that didn't quite fill out the entire line, I just hit the space bar at the end of the sentence a few times to get that aligned to the left. Now for the font color, I chose this HTML color code here. And for the font type, I used News Gothic. Once you have all your lettering in place, keep in mind that the speed of the scroll is gonna be determined by how long you stretch this out to be. The longer you stretch it, the slower it's going to move, and the shorter it is, the faster that scroll is going to be. Now with that text selected in the upper right inspector, grab that pitch selector, and you can actually tilt this entire text one way or the other. And moving that slider to the right kind of pitches it in the direction that we're used to seeing that Star Wars crawl. With that track selected, go up here to the left and click on transform. And what I did was I actually shrunk this down a little bit to compensate for some of that stretch. And another thing I noticed was when the text ended at the top, it seemed to have a very cut off line. So what I did was I increased the top crop just a little bit, and then I pulled the softness back. So it gave it a little bit of a vignette effect, almost like falling into a shadow. I added this starry background here. This is just something that I found online and purchased from an asset house. But I noticed they felt a little stagnant when I just let them play. So I added an adjustment clip on top. And in that adjustment clip, I added a little bit of camera shake. I didn't put a lot of shake. I just wanted a little bit of pulsating motion because I noticed the original Star Wars scroll seemed to have a bit of motion and pulsing in the stars. Now I also added an adjustment clip right above my text. And in that adjustment clip, I added two things. One was a directional blur. The text seemed a little too crisp and too different from the original. So adding a little bit of directional blur to it seemed to make it feel more cinematic. I also noticed that in the original, the text seemed to have a little bit of a glow to it. So I actually added this Resolve FX Lite glow effect into that adjustment clip. And I set the color filter for the exact same as the text, just by using the pick screen selector and grabbing the text and using that color. Just bringing down the gamma and the saturation and leaning a little more on the gain seemed to give me a fairly decent Star Wars text effect. The very last thing I did was add a little bit of cinematic music at the bottom, courtesy of our friends over at Storyblocks, and that gave me this very Star Wars opening credits result. 